It has to seem real, you know, like, North Korea is not as bad as I thought it was. It's kind of nice, you know, like... <laughs> Make him sound gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so did you guys know that there's a dude who went to North Korea because he wanted to get arrested oh so he could stay there? God. What? Oh, are you talking about the white deserter during the war? And then they praised him like, um... Like a hero? During the Korean War? He's white. Yeah. Okay. He was a white guy that deserted that way. Wow. And like Last Samurai? The Last <laughs> Korean? Yeah, last Samurai. The, the Last, last Korean. Korean, man. We're like Samurai. <laughs> he lived a good life. Let's say it, let's say it. He has all this silver teeth because of the dental work out there. It's pretty whack, so it's all silver. <laughs> it's Whoa. pretty whack. Yeah. He's the silver samurai, dude. And he, you know, like, they used him as a propaganda tool of like, dude, America is so bad that he ran to our side. Oh. And I did so, hear like, about that. He lived good and he, yeah. he has a wife and kids. You think he regrets that. it? Huh? You think he regretted it? I don't think so. He lived good. Like he came from a poor place like in the States. And then so when he deserted and he lived like pretty good amongst yeah. the who's who's. What the? What the heck is that? Is this place about to come down? Someone's on top Should of it. Should we get out of here? <laughs> Wait, there's, you people can go up there? Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. I've never heard this ever, not one time ever. <laughs> How about that? I thought it was no big deal, but everyone was like, <laughs> it kind of yeah. made me worried. Because that high. one sounds close to, like, right, They're up, right, right above. They're right here. They're right here. Literally yeah. right above. Holy shit. It's the rebar guys, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and we make noise. <laughs> We're noise makers. We make noise. Hey, you know what we do? We as, make noise. We make noise since 1975. Yeah, as much as it sucks, it would be crazy to see somebody fall through the roof right now. Well, that means I, feel like I like how the rebarkers are explaining like what they were. And, like, I don't give a fuck! And he was taking forever. I was yeah. like, dude, get out, we gotta- He was such a nice guy. We got 14,000 pounds of rebar coming through here, okay? We're gonna be a little noisy. <laughs> so I apologize for the noise, just let us know. You come from New Jersey, we tell it how it is, we make the noise when we make the noise. <laughs> um, but no, Joe, it's not the same guy. <laughs> An American man has spoken out after purposefully getting himself arrested to remain in North Korea. Matthew Todd Miller from Bakersfield, California. Huh. Oh, this guy's white too? Of course Travel. he's from Bakersfield. Traveled to North Korea on <laughs> April 10th, 2014. Wow. With the purpose of getting arrested. Wow. Reports claim the now 33-year-old tore up his tourist visa in the airport and made clear his intentions to seek political asylum in a bid to try and stay in the country. Oh, so he's doing wow. political asylum. So he was arrested for unruly behavior, however. <laughs> they arrested him anyway. He's like, can I have asylum? I'm like, you're arrested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the North Korea way. That's an unruly thing to say. North Korea could look kind of tight. They're like, hey, this American defector. And they're like, nah, you're a fucking arrested. Oh. I like how they even put him in a North Korea now. Fucking yeah. McLovin. <laughs> he looks like Lex Freeman in McLovin. Yeah. Unruly behavior? You tear up your passport and just start yelling probably, huh? Yeah, maybe he's just yeah. making a spectacle. Yeah. <laughs> well, here's the thing. It evolved a little bit because at first he was uh, arrested for unruly behavior, but the accusations... Um, started to get a little bit crazier. He was later accused of hostile acts against the state after being found in possession of a notebook he sought to deliver to North Korea's government, which state-run Korea Central News Agency alleged contained confessions. He reportedly said he was a hacker and knew military secrets, hoping to remove the American military in South Korea. So he's trying to be a double agent spy or some shit? I guess so. The, the Supreme Court of the Democratic Republic's, uh, People's Republic of Korea ruled Miller had committed acts of hostile to the DPRK while entering the territory of the DPRK under the guise of a tourist. The Californian man was charged after under Article 64 of the North Korean Criminal Code concerning acts of espionage and certainly achieved his goal of remaining in North Korea as he was sentenced to six years of hard labor. Damn. See, I would have done the same shit, but he played the wrong cards. What I would have done is I would have been like, Kim Jong-il's sister, I'm here to love you. That's good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I would have been like, yo, I fucking left America to be with yeah. you. You're my true love. He has You're a boombox. You start like, air humping? Yeah. And like, this is what I could do for you. It's you. That'd be good. That's yeah. very alluring. I'd be like, you ever yeah. had any American dick before? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, check this out. And he's like, I want to be the king of yeah. North Korea and you'll be my queen. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. <laughs> That's really yeah, really yeah. good. Yeah. And then she'd just be like, oh my God, for me. Prince has finally come. Yeah. My knight in shining armor. Yeah. And then. Well, well, Ko 
will coal uh, repopulate call North Korea. No, like, <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. I'm like Genghis Khan, but like the communist version, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, no, we could cooperate with Kim Jong Un, and we can oh. be like a thruple. That's really good. You want a with thruple with Kim oh, Jong Un? Yeah. Oh wow! I picture Joe getting there, and then he's like. All right, so what do we got to eat around here? <laughs> <laughs> what happens at the end of the six years hard labor? Do they let him out into actual North Korea or they just send him back? I don't know, but considering his situation, Miller also spent nearly six months in custody prior to his conviction, having refused to be flown back to the U.S. and resultantly being detained. Nobody wanted him. wants to stay there. Right. No, he <laughs> wants to stay there. Yeah, but even though he was like, get the fuck out of here. Do you think his military secrets are from StarCraft 2? <laughs> yeah. Like, I know how to move troops and how to accumulate wealth. <laughs> you know what he said? He said, quote, this might sound strange, but I was prepared for the torture, but instead of that I was killed with kindness and with that my mind folded and the plan fell apart. No. <laughs> what was his plan? This guy is weird. What is that? Dude, he's just mental. I'm telling you, man. Everybody, Everybody was so nice that, to me, so I ruined bullied. my plan. Yeah, yeah his, his intention, now. apparently, uh, he said that he wanted to see North Korea in a way which went beyond the average tourist experience of it. I just wanted to have a face to face with North Koreans to answer my personal question. And then they sent them back to the US. They're like, we don't want this one. They're like, you're just crazy, dude. They're like, we're going to do a bunch of trumped up charges on you and put you into a military camp. Wait, he said he and wanted like, North Koreans. He was met with kindness. <laughs> he wanted North Koreans to answer his questions. That's he just mean. wanted to like see it in a different way than regular people. He said, oh, I achieved my personal goal of seeing more of North Korea. I wanted to connect with the people, not question the government or the politics. I have no personal politics. This was not a political trip. Yeah, it's a schizophrenic I, trip. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's because <laughs> all the, all the uh, tourism there, it's like state controlled. So they only expose you to what they want you to see. So yeah. everything is like a, a facade, right? So he probably wanted to see the real real. He's like one of those tourists that are like, I'm not going to the resort. I want to go to where the locals go. Local. But it's like the more hardcore version of it. Yeah. It's I want to go to the jails where everyone does the work camp stuff. He's a pretentious traveler. And he's like, it's not so bad. He's like, it's not that bad. Oh, this isn't the real North Korea. <laughs> he's like, this is like the real fucking North Korea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everything else is a tourist trap. Yeah. <laughs> this is where the fucking locals hang. I know. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, it's Pyongyang. <laughs> Pyongyang. Yeah. Not like... Pyongyang. The locals don't even eat that. Yeah, <laughs> they don't. They eat these fucking like these little bugs, like yeah, yeah these, these little rats. rats. He's like patient zero of like gentrifying an entire country. <laughs> it's like is it such a Californian thing to do, right? Yeah. Like I want to go to the real North Korea, the real one. I love we gave him that voice. Yeah, yeah. he's like I want to. He is a little sassy though. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Turtleneck wear. Looks like he's got that. He's yeah. turtleneck wear. This is a mom and pops nation. <laughs> <laughs> he said uh, he's neither confirmed nor denied whether or not there is any truth to the espionage charges. <laughs> simply explaining he was not there to give secret information or anything like that, but just wanted to speak to an ordinary North Korean person about normal things. I just wanted to. I wanted to just every day sit down with them and have conversations about everything. In jail, I would ask them one question about their country, and they would have a question about mine. He said. Wait, so he could speak Korean? No, I think he just wanted to. The dumb thing is, if he's saying, if he's releasing this information while in captivity of North Korea, then it's clearly North Korea talking. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was released. No, no, he's got six six years of hard labor. Yeah, so why are you, why would anyone go, oh, really? <laughs> like, no, you're under captivity, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. North Korea. That's not your voice anymore. Yeah, you yeah. got it. That's the problem with, like, Blockbuster shutting down. That used to be, like, the home for weirdos like this. That's you know, true. all the weird fucks that oh, were. Shit, I was like, where are you going with this one? He would have had a home. Yeah. They shut that shit well, down. Now he has to go okay. fucking find yeah. the secrets of North Korea. That's He's like, Hollywood true. video's closed? All right. I That's guess. what they said when he got there. They're like, oh, Brogabuster. <laughs> Crows again. <laughs> now more weirdos coming. I'm just imagining the North Korea PR agent Brogabuster. who's, like, writing this guy's speech. And he goes, <laughs> you know, I, 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 we cannot make it seem a fake. It has to seem a real, you know, like, North Korea is not as bad as I thought it was. It's kind of nice, you know, like. Make him a sound gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they will not believe. They Make will him a sound gay. He's a California, you know. It's a, <laughs> California. You know, California is always a vegan and a, like a gay. Vegan. <laughs> Make him sound like a gay food blogger. <laughs> It's not as bad as I thought it was. It was the locals. I like to go eat the bag with a local. 